David, thank you. He was magic, you know, Mauricio Pochettino. But now they're loving Big Ange instead. And this place simmers. It is charged raucously edgy. Once more around the complex, multi-layered, doggy dog plot that is forever Spurs Chelsea. Well, the coaches, two thoroughly genial individuals meeting for the first time around a fixture which is generally more snarl than smile. Pochettino in the very bones, the architecture of Tottenham's swanky home. But Postacoglu appears perfectly comfortable living here. And so the last act of a Premier League weekend, which has largely laughed in the face of expectation. Yes, City did blast their way to the top, but three of the top five didn't win. Sheffield United did. Everybody has won a game now, and only Tottenham haven't lost one. It's a Super Bowl for Saar, who has Kulisevsky wide. Son through the middle, Johnson getting forward. This is Dejan Kulisevsky! Penetrative and to the point! Cole Palmer had to wrestle the ball away a couple of weeks ago to suggest he should bear the burden of Chelsea's penalty responsibility and he does so again. Come on! In off the post! Amid frenzy and fury! At seething spurs, Chelsea are level. James, Sterling's in here, Jackson's with him, Raheem Sterling, Jackson scores, and last, finally they crack the code, Chelsea laboured against nine, but in the event Spurs could not turn back the tide eternally. Now Gallagher going the other way, and Spurs exposed, and Nicholas Jackson seals the deal! 94 minutes and eventually Chelsea are safe. Jackson's on a hat trick here and Jackson has Mudrick for company and Jackson keeps on going and Jackson has three! Big broad setting all smile in the face of Spurs scowls. A night of unrelenting mayhem. And at the end of it all, as once he was before, Pochettino by hook or by crook, crazily, is the king of the Tottenham Castle again, now in Chelsea colours, and Ange Postacoglu and Spurs are finally beaten for the first time. Chelsea have ransacked the palatial home of the hitherto invincibles, but it was they themselves, Tottenham, who turned over their own furniture. They who had Romero sent off in the first half, Odogi in the second, to lay themselves bare. Kulusevski had scored early, Palmer's penalty equalised it, and then as Spurs, bravely having pursued it, ran out of gas. Jackson, Jackson, and Jackson again took it away. And Chelsea, as historically over recent decades they have tended to do, have come to Tottenham and won. And Tottenham's magnificent autumn march has hit its first impediment. An evening in truth which has pushed back the boundaries of credulity. And the final score is Tottenham Hotspur 1, Chelsea 4, which, Dave, is about 10% of the story.